Welcome to my very first vlog. I wanted to show everyone how I built my own recording studio in my New York City apartment. I know a lot of you know me from my music or you know me from my PSAs on TikTok, but I wanted to share with you how I built something from scratch. That was a goal of mine. I put my mind to it and I did it. I'm going to show you step by step the materials I used from the exhausting days to my little mini milestones just to inspire you to do whatever it is that you want to do to achieve the goals that you want to achieve because you got this so my friend Matt showed me how to build these sound panels and he was so gracious to lend me his power tools which looking back was a very questionable decision because uh, me with power tools I don't really know but I didn't hurt anybody or hurt myself so that is an achievement all on its own Doing this stuff by myself, kind of taking myself back to school was really, really hard. But I put on the gloves, put on the glasses, told myself I was a badass, even though it was not the truth the majority of the time. I had so many moments of feeling like a failure, so many moments of feeling like, did I bite off more than I could chew? I turned my living room into a wood shop and... I went to Home Depot maybe seven times that month, carried my materials up my really small staircase. I was exhausted. But these little moments of these little milestones in my apartment by myself really made it all worth it and reminded me, you're doing this, you got this. Just keep going, put one foot in front of the other. My entire apartment was a wreck. Oh my God. But after the vocal booth had structure, I knew, okay, oh God, full steam ahead, like let's that. do this. Fine. It's looking like something like I don't even know my cousin Brittany came through she gave me the serotonin boost that I needed to stay positive and just stay focused and while I was building this I still had music to record so I had to take my microphone put it in the middle of the room and cover it with a very thick curtain to still get the sound that I needed to send the producers then it was on to building the cloud lights. So I wanted the cloud lights to be sound absorbing, to also have a functionality to them. So I basically built them out of rock wool and plywood and then covered them with fluff from a pillow and some LED lights that you could change the color to. That's my production assistant. Then once I finished that, I went back to the vocal booth and padded it with these really great sound panels that I had found on Amazon. They're the best ones that I found. They're thick and great quality. I'll tag the link below. Put up the cloud lights just to see what I needed to change, what I needed to revise, the height, the width, etc. Now it was time to cover the vocal booth. I didn't want to just paint it. I wanted it to really have its own personality. So I bought a cheap rug that was fluffy and furry. I cut it up and I glued it and nailed it all over the sound booth. It looked so freaking cool. I found these sound diffusers on Amazon as well, put them on the wall so that they could bounce the sound off of these sound panels that I made. And I stuffed those with rock wool and covered them with some really cool teal velvet fabric. I'm so proud of myself. It's still a work in the progress, but I just want you to know you can do whatever you want and achieve whatever you want. And this room is also for rent. And here's my self-reflection. Okay. I think I finished the studio. <laughs> I think it's done. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. This has by far been like the loneliest month and a half of my life, doing everything every day alone. I think a part of it is also me not allowing people to help even though they've offered just because I felt like it could have taken longer. I had a vision and I have to work on that. I have to work on asking for help. That's something I have to work on, but um, it's good for now. It's at the space that it needs to be, the place it needs to be in order to create really great things. I'm going to add more equipment, add everything. I'm going to make it all so great and nice. And I'm so excited to have people in here, artists in here, and see what gets created and what walks out the door and what gets released. I'm excited to put plaques up. Hell yeah, I'm excited to sell records. This space is not, it's not, it's not for the people that know exactly what they're doing. It's also for the people that don't fit in anywhere. The people who are still developing themselves and their sound. The people that have been too afraid in the past to speak up about what they want because they don't want to seem needy or they've been told that they don't know what they're talking about or they don't know things. This is for them and you and me. And I'm really proud of myself. And I'm gonna start to cry again. So a year ago, I was in a completely different place. 
Oh my God, Diana, get it together. Ha, bad bitches don't cry. Bad boss bitches don't cry because we handle shit. We cry in private, that's, that's toxic. Don't ever do what I just did. That's really toxic, but I'm in therapy now. Um, so hit me up, DMs, private messages, TikToks, Instagrams, Facebooks. I don't give a shit. Hit me up anywhere. I'm more than happy to set you up a session. I'm so excited to have you. So welcome to Frontline Creative Studio. Bye. <laughs>